So if Britain had Brexit in India, in the Congress, there is uh, its own version of Kexit which is happening and uh, one uh, prominent member who exited the Congress uh, was prominent Haryana leader, Mr. Kuldeep Bishnoi, who is now with us. Mr. Bishnoi, uh, good evening. Thank you very much for speaking to NDTV. Uh, yeah, you see this, this uh, recent example of uh, Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad and he has written what many leaders call a painful five-page note uh, as, he, as he resigned from his position. And he has said a number of things. Uh, do you agree with his assessment? Uh, what has your experience been? Because you have been quite on and off and on in the Congress and now finally in the BJP. Yeah, uh, uh, Sanket, thank you so much for having me over. But uh, I want to say that I haven't read uh, the full, uh, all the five pages. But I have, yes, of course, I have read the synopsis on what he has said. By and large, what I have understood is that uh, he probably feels and says that there is a coterie around RG. A, B, the decisions are very immature and very childish, and wrong decisions are made. And lastly, I have seen that the grassroots leaders and senior leaders and workers are being ignored. All these points, dude, I agree on fully. Because I also left the Congress because I also felt suffocated in the party. Uh, I merged my party six years ago, thinking that I am merging into the same ideology where I left the party in 2007. And there were complete change in the ideology. The ideology of Indra ji, Rajiv ji and Nehru ji was no longer there, doesn't exist at all. And why I left now? Because RG doesn't meet anybody. He doesn't listen to anybody. No, if, if the Congress party is on a suicide mission, I will not commit suicide because I am answerable to my workers, my voters and my people. That was one of the reasons why I left. Secondly, why I joined BJP, the question was that in a way that I have jumped to BJP. Because I feel that BJP is more towards promoting India globally. And yes, we have become, we are on the verge of becoming superpower soon. And I was very impressed with Modi ji's uh, think tank and Modi ji himself. No, but uh, Mr. Vishnu, you see the thing is that uh, the Congress party, the leaders who are in there, they say that the, you know, every leader, leader who quits the Congress, he quits because there is a, uh, he's leaving for greener pastures. So you uh, do not have enough, of, if, you, if you are really selfless in your service, then you would continue to be in the Congress. Yeah. I completely deny what they are saying because when I merged my party in 2007 years ago, hmm. Congress, nobody was even willing to look at Congress party. Everybody was deserting Congress party. They were shut, they were struggling to make a leader of opposition in the parliament. I'm talking seven years ago. That time I merged my party in Congress. Had I been looking for greener pasture, I wouldn't have, but I've gone to BJP, not to Congress party. Hmm. I am the living example that I came back to Congress to to be an asset and they I have vote back in Haryana, I have got vote back in Rajasthan, but they completely, you know, mis misused me or did not use me at all. They have no respect, they have no eye for the, for the work, for the credibility of any leader, potential of any leader. Do you feel in the words of uh, Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad that uh, the Congress party has lost the appetite to fight, fight a battle in this country, electorally, politically? Yeah, I fully agree because one, the, the people, like I repeat again, the people who are guiding RG are the people who are making him do, make mistakes state by state by state. We are losing the same mistake, we are losing the same mistake. And those are the leaders around them. Either they have not contested election ever or they have won election 30 years ago or they have never contested election. These are the people who are guiding and people like Yotirata Sindhya, People like Jatin Prashad, people like Gran Abhi Azad, people like uh, uh, J J J RPN Singh, people like us who are grassroots leaders, who are mass leaders, and they are being sidelined in the party. Then what, what do, you, do you see any future in the party? No. The Congress is in a self-destruction mode, and I will not destroy myself or my people. So do you feel that there will be more uh, exits or, as we are saying, exits from the Congress party? Anybody and everybody who feels that they want to contribute to the country, to the nation, they must join BJP. They should not. And Congress party, at, the, at this time, I, I was reading that somewhere that 
आर जी एस सेट दैट इज समी किसने जाना है वो जाए मैं नहीं रोकूंगा इफ दिस काइंड ऑफ एन एटीट्यूड लीडर हैज हु वांट्स टू स्टे एंड इज सेल्फ रिस्पेक्टेड मैन विल नॉट स्टे विद दिस काइंड ऑफ एन ईगो एटीट्यूड No, I'll tell you why. Why, why the Congress comes to this assessment? They say that here are leaders who are afraid of the CBI and ED and IT because of which they would much rather align with the BJP than fight the fight the battle, fight the hard battle. I am not. A, yeah, I am talking about myself. I am not scared of any income tax. Anybody. I had a search few years ago. Had I been scared, I would have joined BJP in 2019, not in 2022. When after that in 2019 I won the election after the surge of income tax. I have no ED with me. I just only have income, and my cases are more or less over. Had I been scared, I would have joined two or three years ago, not today. It's all wrong. All right, uh, Mr. Kuldeep Bishnoi, thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.